Welcome to the ultimate guide for Guardian Games All-Stars 2024. So this video will explain all of your questions of how to get the Sparrow, how to get the new Memento, how to get the new Guardian Games weapon that just came out, and much more. So be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Of course, for every event, we got to go talk to Grandma, aka the hot, beautiful Eva Levante in the tower. So as soon as you interact with Grandma, she'll give you the Titan Mark if you're on the Titan, the Hunter cloak if you're on the hunter or the warlock bond if you're on the warlock so be sure to equip this in order for you to earn medals throughout your activity playthroughs and as soon as you acquired that mark bond or cloak you'll get a quest called best in class as soon as you do that evo levante will give you glimmer aka she'll give you 1000 glimmer for you to purchase any cards that she has available in her inventory so the first ones i do recommend is to go for the platinum cards and also the diamond card do do note that for the diamond card, you can only complete that once a week. And the only diamond card we have is the end game PVE. And here's what it does. In order for you to get the diamond medallion, all you would have to do is complete all encounters within a raid with a full fire team of the same class. So for me, I did it on Warlock. So all of my teammates were warlocks, so we started from the beginning and finished towards the end. And as you're heading to Eva Levante in the tower, there's actually going to be four activities for you to participate in. The first one is basically just a regular strike for you to play with either the same class or just play the strike. The second one is the competitive strike in which you're going to have to play that if you want to get the new Sparrow. And the other two are Crucible, aka Supremacy, and the last one is Gambit. In order for you to complete the best in class quest, you will need to earn medallions by completing activities with your guardian game class item equipped so be sure to have your guardian game class item equipped when you're doing all of these quests so as soon as i completed my strike i got the quest completed and then it will tell me to go back to eva levante to talk to her as soon as i went back to eva levante she gave me this medallion case which is like a tracker of how many medallions you have on your character so for the platinum, diamond, and gold, you could be able to hold up to three. For the silver medallions, you could be able to hold up to five. And for the bronze as well, you can also be able to hold it up to five. After that, she'll soon tell you to deposit it in the middle of the tower. So for the red deposit is for the titan, the yellow one is for the warlock, and the blue is for the hunter. So whichever guardian you are, deposit right there. Then you're going to go to the quest tab, and it says Guardian Games Event Card. Once you're there, you're going to need to interact with the event challenge called In It to Win It. You'll be rewarded with a new heavy arc wave grenade launcher and then after the next quest is to speak to commander zavala once you talk to zavala he'll give you another quest called shoot to score so once you acquire this quest all you will need to do is participate in the competitive nightfall playlist and if you do reach the platinum threshold as what you see in the middle of the tower there are these pedestals so each plate is a corresponding threshold so it will start from bronze to silver to gold and then to platinum so if you do want to reach up to platinum in the nightfall playlist list you would need to reach all the way up to 175,000 points and i'll show you a method to get tons of points whenever you do this we get onto that later and then as soon as you're done talking to zavala you're then gonna want to talk to lord shax in which he'll give you the same variation but for crucible so the higher points you get from crucible the more likely of a chance you're going to be getting tons of loot in the middle of the tower after that you're gonna want to speak to eva labonte again and you'll be rewarded with the hullabalulu that's what i would call it but the the actual term is Hula Baloo, but I like to call it Hula Balulu. And once you got that grenade launcher, there's going to be another quest that's going to pop up called the Drop In. This one's the one where you can be able to get the new Sparrow for this event. At first, when you interact with it, you're going to get this common variation of this Sparrow called the All Star Vector. At first, when you interact with it, it says it's going to expire at the end of the season. But if you would finish this quest that you just got, it will not be removed at the end of the event. So if you're one of those people that really want this Sparrow forever, be sure to do this quest that I'm going to explain. For the drop-in quest, you can do any of these three activities. The first one is to get 1,200 medallion score, which that will take a very long time. The next one is earn a top 10% score in the Nightfall Challenges. And the last one is open your focus activity winner packages, and you're going to have to do that three times. So for me, what I did was I did the second one, earn a top 10% score in Nightfall Challenges. I'll show you guys how to do that. It would be best if you would get two other 
other people in your team that actually know what they're doing instead of just getting blueberries. So what you're going to have to do is load up a competitive nightfall strike. And as soon as you're loading it up, be sure to do this trick whenever you're encountering with champions within these nightfall strikes. So once you see a champion, be sure to weaken him until he becomes finishable. Once that champion becomes finishable, be sure to emote in front of him, then finish him off. Because once you do that, you'll get 9,000 points just by doing that. So be sure to do that for every single champion you'll see. So if you do really want to get a lot of points, be sure to get precision kills. Yeah, I do know it's not that much points, but those minor points could help you in the long run. So for every precision kill, you'll get 12 points. Once you complete the Nightfall Strike, you'll then will be rewarded with the exotic version of the All-Star Vector. So now if you were to inspect the exotic version of the Sparrow, it will no longer say expires at the end of Guardian Games. So again, if you do want to have this forever, be sure to do what I just said. Okay, now we're done talking about the exotic Sparrow. Now let's talk about the Memento. So in order for you to get the Memento, you're going to need to have either three things. One, a gold medallion. Two, a platinum medallion. Or three, a diamond medallion. If you do want to get the Memento right off the bat, be sure to do the diamond medallion card. And if you do want to kill two birds with one stone, you can also get the platinum raid event card and also the diamond raid event card. So for the platinum version of the raid one all you would have to do is defeat combatants and generate orbs during the raid or dungeon and whenever you complete a raid or a dungeon it would grant more progress to this event card so if you were to complete three encounters in any raid or dungeon it would finish it so for me in the gameplay that you're seeing i was running crota's end but you can choose any other raid you like that you think it's easier so once I killed Crota, I did get the diamond bounty completed. And throughout the raid, I also got the platinum bounty completed as well. So once I got those done, I opened them, which gave me the medallions. And then I went back to the tower and I interacted with my corresponding deposit. And I got an ascended alloy and also the memento. And I also did want to mention that you don't really need to have the diamond memento. It's only for the people that do want to get it guaranteed. You would also have a chance to get the memento if you were to deposit a gold medallion or a platinum medallion. Medallion. If you want to farm platinum medallions very easily, here's what I would do. I would get the platinum raid slash dungeon card. Then I would load up a Shirochi checkpoint and just keep killing ads as much as possible. And here are the best perks that I think are very good for the new wave arc grenade launcher. On the third perk column slot, there are two perks that I do recommend you should be going for. The first one is Envious Assassin. Yes, I do know I got a nerf, but if you do not want to reload this grenade launcher, be sure to put Envious Assassin because with Envious Envious Assassin, it was able to hold 150% more in the mag, but now it's 100%. And the next one is Volt Shot if you do like to clear out adds, and also stun Overload Champions once you proc Volt Shot. And on the fourth column, if you do want to take more of the ad clear route, you can go for Chain Reaction. Or if you do want to increase your damage for your Grenade Launcher, you could go for a Golden Tricorn. It would increase it up to 15% for 7 seconds on each weapon kill. And what's cool about the Grenade Launcher is the Origin trait called Classy contender final blows with this weapon grants class ability energy so for each kill it would grant five percent extra class ability energy if you guys are into that be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe if you do have any questions be sure to let me know in the comments and yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day evening or afternoon take care and peace join the discord